The first time when I met her, uh, Catherine came to me and she said, well, I want to be a champion. Many people thought like I'm crazy and in fact that's how I, would be. I was being called the crazy Catherine. Her roommates like made fun of her and called her crazy Catherine because all she wanted to do was run and no one knew why and nothing stopped her. I think I had that you know passion for learning when I, I was in high school and like nobody could stop me, no matter how they talk and you know, whatever kind of joke they share, I don't care. She was in Kenya when she was a kid or when she was growing up, it was frowned upon. You know, this was not the proper thing that a young lady does. So, you know, the ladies in the village, you know, were all frowning upon it and telling her that she shouldn't be doing this, telling her parents she shouldn't be doing this. I, I got teased by most of my classmates and they could say, oh, uh, she's here, she's just learning because, you know, when she get out of there uh, with the team, they are going to be given like a, a half bread and a soda. And because they, they thought like we could not afford because, you know, they thought like my family was not all that well up that we could not afford a bread like each and every day, you know. You know, some of the women who are like almost the same age as my mom, could see me out there learning, they could ask me, well, Catherine, right now, you are out of school, why should you keep on learning? And I say, well, I'm just kind of exercising. I just keep on doing it because I love it. I just have that passion. Easy, 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 easy. 302, 303. I can say this, uh, which, uh, Catherine was born to run. I attribute Catherine's durability to her desire. I've never met anyone with just a strong-willed desire for success. Uh, she's driven. She works harder than anyone I've ever met, and she can take pain. You know, the thing that makes a champion is who can withstand pain the most. And Catherine has the deepest pain threshold I think you'll ever see. It's an insertion of your hamstrings. Catherine can take pain like no other. <laughs> that clicking up there, get up top. So whenever I'm out there, I know my body is hurting, it is fatigued, and I feel like I can do, I cannot do it, but God is there with me. I can do all things because of Christ who strengthens me. Her faith in God is so strong, she just figures that, you know, she 100% believes, you know, he's going to take care of her. There's no reason for her to worry. Catherine DeRabo, as you see right there, is one of 12 of her 13 races in 2001. She would have won a gold medal in 2000 if they had kept their word and put her on the on the marathon team. The good thing about that, they told her that she hadn't run fast enough, so that inspired her, that made her mad. And when, when you make Catherine mad, that's kind of one of the best things, that, that's one of the worst things her competition can do, is make her mad. That then encouraged her that she could get the world record. It's going to sh I mean shatter the world As if she didn't know. Uh, what a performance by Catherine Dereva, and let's not wait a second. You know, in my village, I think I was the first, like, lady to do the learning, you know, outside there. And uh, something that I normally think right now, like, um, what made them to call me crazy is because I didn't even have a track suit, like, you know, to run in. They didn't have anybody to watch like a role model and even maybe they didn't have faith. Maybe they thought that they were wasting their time. 
But me, I have to start chance. And I feel that now I have, I have people like Catherine and others. I can watch them and say, wow, these people, they, they have done it, so I can do it. So I used to watch her in, in TV, and I was seeing her running, learning all of her. And that's why I want now to advise her. My role model is Catherine. Yeah. Being sort of an ordinary person, just trying to get back in shape and kind of you know, barely able to get myself out of bed that first day. I don't think they realize like, the effect they have just being around ordinary people. It's amazing. Very inspirational. Just being here inspires me and seeing them. <laughs> I can see that whatever I've been doing, it, everybody is kind of getting inspired and it is bearing fruit. And I know for sure it's not only her. There are many, many, many all over the world. My neighbor, he's called uh, John Washira. He was a very good runner and everybody knew him. And when he was running, because he, he didn't, he didn't uh, used to have like shoes to race on, like now the sneakers that we use, uh, he was racing like bare feet as well as me. So everybody was calling him Asie. Asie means like somebody who doesn't have. They didn't call him crazy. But for me, they thought I'm crazy. They believed that uh, men does the hard work, does almost everything, you know. They, it was like, if a woman can do this, they were surprised. Thank you. You're welcome. You're very much welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. She loves to sing the Kenyan Christian gospel music. I guess it makes her feel good and inspires her. I just noticed when she's feeling good, she seems to sing more. <laughs> when she called the other day and she had a great workout, I said, it didn't sound like you worked hard enough. Um, you have too much energy. And she said, no, I just have joy in my heart. The Lord put joy in my heart. When I was in high school, the best I could get was the provincial level. I never hit it even, I never got a chance even to get to the national level. It was so much unfortunate for me. I was always like the best loser. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the weather is humid. It's humid and warm. Yeah. So. All right, Bob, and they're on their way. 82 runners from 46 countries. Also keep in mind, Catherine Dureba from Kenya at 35 years old. They call her Catherine the Great because of her frequent marathon victories. She was the world champion a year ago when Joe was second for China, but no Kenyan male or female has ever won the Olympic marathon in spite of their incredible success. Back and forth, Catherine Dureba of Kenya. When I think of the of the word of God, it says He's the one who 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 changes the names of the people. Uh, people called me the, the the crazy Catherine, but when the Lord's time came, now I'm called Catherine the Great.